Hi everyone, Ben here from Sydney Fruit Gardening. Today I'm taking you through some of the grafting results that I've had, show you what's worked, what hasn't, um, share with you some of the, the different grafting techniques I've used, um, and uh, yeah, look, just um, try and perhaps inspire you to, to have a go at grafting yourself. It's a great way to collect different varieties of fruit trees. All you need is a cutting and a good knife and some tape. Um, and uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of patience. So, um, and as gardeners, of course, we always have, have um, you know, we need to have a lot of patience for what we do, particularly those trying to grow tropical fruit trees. So I've got a few white sapotes in front of me here at the moment. Um, and uh, I'll take you through which ones have worked well. The first one is this one here. So I'll move these out of the way. First is this one, which is a, uh, a seedling. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a seedling, but it's a, a fruiting variety, an unknown fruiting variety. It was given to uh, given to me by a, a guy on uh, one of the forums. So I've just written his, his name here. Um, I got some cuttings from him, and this one this one was grafted on the 12th of the 8th, 2023. So we're in the first week of uh, no, second week now of October. Um, so it's, it's taken a good, a good spell to actually get, you know, um, to get going, but it is growing quite nicely now. So you can see, I'll just remove this little bit of tape here so you can see the, the graft itself. So you can see that, um, here we go. It's the cleft graft. You can see it's actually healed much better on this side. One of the things about grafting is that generally you need to get the the cambium layer um, married up from the the um, scion wood, which is the, the bit that you're grafting on, to the rootstock. Um, but you only really have to generally do that on one side um, of the cleft graft. So if you do if you do a graft and you find that hey you know look I, I don't get it i haven't married up the the two pieces of wood perfectly on both sides that's okay just get it right on one side and generally generally it should take okay white sapote doesn't seem to be overly difficult to graft um, um you know i've got a few here from last year which i'll show you as well but um i didn't have much success when i tried to do bud grafting. Um, I found that the sign would dry it out really easily, or uh, well, the bud dried, dried out really easily. Um, we had some hot weather though, so that could have been it. We'll take you through a few others. So that was uh, the unknown variety. This uh, this one's a campong, which is from my own tree. It was only grafted on the 24th of the 9th. Um, there is some there is some uh, growth perhaps showing there. But uh, not a lot. So that one we're still waiting on, obviously. I like to use these Ziploc bags just to keep in uh, some of the moisture to stop the cyan wood from drying out while it's healing. So that's um, a good, uh, good trick I find. Okay, a couple of others I'll show you. This one is a failure, I think. This is a pike. The interesting thing about this one is that it did actually start growing. It did, it did shoot, but then it, uh, it died after that. So I don't know what's wrong with that one. Um, but unfortunately it has not been successful. So we'll, we'll chop the top of that one later and uh, try again, perhaps with some campong. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. I think this one was a fail too, but let's have a look. Yeah, this one's all dried out. This is a campong as well. We'll have to give that one another go, another time. These two are looking good. So, this one is a pike, grafted on the 2nd of September. A little bit of growth that's come through on this one. Not a lot, but a little bit. You can 
can see there. So that one's growing okay. Um, yeah, so that one hopefully will start shooting off um, a bit more, but the, the, the early growth is, uh, is promising. So that's, that's good to see. Just put that Ziploc bag back on. Uh, and one more from this year. So that one was the pike. This one is the vernon. This one's shooting out quite nicely. So a bit of growth there. It did come with a bit of this sort of black fungusy looking stuff on there. I don't know if there's much I can actually do about that, but um, but look, we're getting some growth anyway, which is good. These were all cleft grafts. Um, like the V-shaped graft, so they're, um, they're doing pretty good. I will show you a couple that I did last year. This is a campol, and this one is a Max Golden. Um, so you can see they both uh, took off well. This was done, actually this was done in uh, March this year and February this year. So um, what are we, seven, eight months ago, somewhere there. I'll show you the graft union on these. Again, cleft grafts guys, so pretty, pretty good basic graft to get started with, I find, is the cleft graft. Um, just get this to focus. Yeah, you can sort of see the graft at the top there. I'll just see if I can zoom in a bit for you. There you go. See how that's healed. So that's the Max Golden. I'll show you the graft unit on this one as well. This is a Campong. healed really nicely so you can see lots of uh, lots of growth on these they should start shooting out again soon a um, little bit of spotting on the leaves of this one but I don't think it's anything to worry about too much probably just a little bit of winter damage Max Golden none of that that's looking really good Okay, a few others which I'll show you. Um, yeah, so this is one I just recently did. This is a bud graft, guys. So this is where you actually just cut a little bud of a fruit tree and uh, slot it in um, to the rootstock tree. So um, essentially just cutting a little slither a slither if you will um, that contains a bud and then cutting the similar slither off the rootstock same size and putting a little a little sort of a pocket or a niche uh, for the the bud to, to slide into um, and hold it in place while you wrap around the, the buddy tape or the grafting tape I do find buddy that's b-u-d-d-y buddy tape um, not budding buddy tape is probably the best um, and it's, uh, it's the best because it's really flexible. Um, so it uh, can easily be stretched tight, stretched really tightly and really wrap uh, the bud or the graft up. So, all right, I'll show you a bit of a close up of this one. This is, uh, so this is the hood pear. It's been done on quince C rootstock. So if you want a dwarfing pear tree, you graft it on quince. Uh, rootstock in particular quince C so you can see how that's healed there um, and it's shooting some green growth there is another one below this which hasn't taken but you can see the the buddy tape still wrapped around it so I'll probably leave that a little longer but um, yeah, I'll, I'll eventually just remove that and let the let the tree recover. So that's uh, the hood pear. 
hood is a low chill variety. Um, I think I need to get floor to home or one of the other low chill pairs um, to be the pollinator. So I'll, uh, I'll have to look out for that. This is a uh, Kathia line that I grafted last year in 2022. Um, I found that uh, my cleft grafts haven't been very successful with citrus. Um, this one was a cleft graft, but uh, this year I've started to do some bud grafting. And um, thanks to, to Neil of uh, Cold Climate Fruits in Canberra for getting me onto the Fruit Mentor website. And um, I've checked out what he does, and he puts his bud grafts on a bit of an angle so that you have at least two points of contact between Siam and uh, rootstock. Um, but I'll quickly show you this one. So you can see that there's some of the bug crawling there, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, and there's the other side, so that's healed pretty nicely. The other thing that I do is around um, multi-grafting. So I graft up uh, apple trees. Um, Thing with apple trees is you need more than one tree or more than one variety to set fruit so um, what do you do if you're say living in an apartment or you've got a small backyard you don't want to have to plant multiple trees well that's where a, a multi-grafted fruit tree can come into play so this one has four varieties on this is the jonah gold pine golden pippin sundowner and the carney apple um, um, so they're all from roughly the same pollination group or, or adjacent pollination groups. They, they will pollinate each other when flowering. Um, and uh, the beauty, as I said, is you get multiple varieties and you don't have to plant multiple trees. So these are all, I think I've done a mixture of grass here. I haven't yet taken the tape off all of them, but um, the top of the top one was a whip and tongue graft. Uh, the rest are what I call side cleft grafts. So, I might actually just show you the bottom one because that one's had the tape taken off. You can see basically you slot it in, you you cut a wedge with cuts on both sides there and there of the, the cyan wood and then uh, you cut a little sort of pocket in there and you can see how that's healed over. Again, the main thing is to get it right on one side, which in this case, this side was aligned, this side was not aligned, um, but it uh, yeah, it'll obviously first start healing here, and then it will start to to try and fill in over here normally. So, so that's how um how that's happened, and uh, the rest have all been done variations of that sort of side grafting approach, basically. Um, and then you've got an instant multi-grafted fruit tree you can also do this to set yourself up to have a multiple or multi-variety espaliered fruit tree so if you want an instant espalier you just get your rootstock and you know graft on either side as you go you can do bud grafting here too of course um, so yeah a lot of different um, options but that's uh that's how i do multi-grafted fruit trees so so look at front that's um some examples of grafting i hope you enjoyed that um, um, it is a a fun way to collect new varieties keep multiple varieties in a small space if you're doing multi-grafting um, and just another way to enjoy the hobby so um, if you've got any comments you know leave them below any questions i'm happy to answer them and uh yeah happy uh, happy grafting bye everyone